Hi everyone, welcome to day 5 challenge. How you feel? My app is on fire. It's so sore, but I kind of like it because it means our muscles getting really, really exciting. Okay, let's get started. We need a block. If you don't have block, you can use shoebox or anything so you can actually bring your legs close to your body. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start from crawl roll. This is killer. It's really, really hard. I'm not scaring you, but it's just hard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit on the hips like we are doing boat pose. Now place your tricep on top of your knees. So your knee has to be a little bit closer to your body and coming on your tippy toes. And your hands are lifting up the sky like we're doing curl, seated. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll back until our shoulder touch and we're gonna roll forward. And try to bring your tricep on top of your knees whole time. We don't need to go fast, okay? I'm gonna start the hit button. Ready? Three, two, one. Start. Tricep on top of your knee, engage your core, round your spine slightly. Inhale, exhale, roll back. Inhale, roll forward. This is one rep. Exhale, roll back. Roll forward. Roll back. Come up, back. Come up. You have to really, really, really engage your core around your spine and protract your shoulder. Try to flex your hands to lift up the sky. 30 more seconds to go. And this is a great way to massage your spine as well. Make sure you're lowering, dropping from your lower back and roll up. Use the core as a balance point. 10 more seconds. Almost there. Seven. Suck your belly in three. Two, one, rest a little bit. And what we're gonna do is bicycle, crunch, block bicycles, bring the blocks or anything and place on top of your knees and place your forearms on top of the blocks like this. Lift your chest to prepare, inhale, exhale, extend your right leg to straight point the toes hover from the ground. Inhale, bring back, exhale, extend. Center, extend. Center, extend. Continue to lift your shoulder off the mat, but make sure your lower back is still on the ground. Suck your belly in. 30 more seconds. Press your forearms on the block and make, maintain the middle line so you're not shifting your body too much. 20 more seconds. Elongate the neck so you're not giving a pressure there. Almost there, 15 more seconds. If your lower back is lifting up, pressing it down again. Almost there. Five more seconds and we rest 10 seconds. And release. And rest for a little bit. And next, we're going to move on to frog crunch. What we're going to do is we're going to make our legs to happy baby pose. Let's start. Arms inside of your knees and lift your shoulders off the mat. Now, inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring your chest towards your pelvic floor. Leave rest, but your shoulders lifted and crunch. Lower, crunch. Lower, crunch. Activate your low belly. Press your lower back on the ground the whole time. Your knees can close your to your shoulder line. Almost there. And rest. And now bring your right hand, grab for our edge of your right foot like you're wearing backpack and extend your left leg along. Left hand behind your head. Open, inhale, exhale, bring your left elbow towards your right foot. Extend, crunch. Extend, crunch. Now we're gonna switch. One more. And bring your left foot back in, grab for our edge of your left foot, extend your right leg. Hands behind your head, crunch. Crunch, three, two, and one, rest for 10 seconds, and we're gonna make ourselves to plank position. Three, two, one, extend your legs and protract your shoulder. Shift forward so your shoulders on top of your wrist. Now, extend your right leg out, center, left leg out, center. Continue to move this step out position. 
but make sure your body is not shifting. Your hips are on center by hugging low belly in. Engage your core. 10 more seconds. And we're going to move on to plank jack. Continue slowly to use your core. Three, two, one. Now open your legs out to B and center. Out and center. Out and center. You don't need to go fast. Try to use your core. Squeeze your core in. That's going to be much, much harder than moving fast. Press your fingertips down to the ground. Protect your shoulder. Do not collapse there. 10 more seconds. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Three, two, and one. Rest 10 seconds and lower down on your belly. Hands under your shoulder. Zip up your legs together. Let's start. Toes digging down to the ground. Exhale the arrow. Inhale, lift your chest. And lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Now, hands behind your head. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Make sure your elbows wide open. You're using leg engagement to lift your chest. Press your hips on the ground. Seven. Five more seconds. Almost there. And then we're going to go for swimming. Extend your arms in front of your, in front of your head, forehead on the ground. Lift your left arm, lift your right leg. And lift your, lift your forehead off the mat. Now switch and switch and switch, switch. Nothing touch the ground. Try not to touch the ground and hover and try to lift higher, higher. Only five more seconds and we're done. Almost there. Three, two. And one release. Rest your forehead on the ground. Deep breathing through your nose. Open your mouth. Exhale, empty it out. One more deep breathing through your nose. Open your mouth. Exhale. Hands under your shoulder. Shift yourself up. And we're done. You can do as many sets as you wish. Or you can do cool down and give yourself stretch. Amazing job and see you on the mat tomorrow. Thank you.